Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, today I have two old power supplies. I made these myself when I was young. I think I was. This must I must have been between 16 and 20 somewhere. And this one I made in school, so it's a few years uh, later. Um, I, I must have been in school because I I can see the 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 housing I built myself, and I did that in my metal class. Um, but I also see I already had my call sign there, so it's my call sign, and um, so I already had my license. So then it must this this must have been already. Then I was in electronics, and this one I just built uh, at home. This is just I don't know where it came from, but it. Yeah, I just I just like to see inside. <laughs> I hope I'm not gonna be uh, um, disappointed what to find inside, but it probably could also be because then I was just starting with uh, my electronics. Uh, so uh, first I like to um, to open and uh, see how bad this is. It. Uh, they, they still work. They both still work, so that is nice. I already saw that in that time. I just took the cords probably from a lamp or I stole it from somewhere because it's short and I noticed exactly the same with this power supply also so uh, I just took what I could find of course and uh, I'm not even sure sure if I knew here uh, how to make uh, how to uh, make your circuits board in acid and stuff so I, I need to see how I did that here this one I did at school, I just used the stuff I had there, you had the photo paper and, and you just, well, you know the process. But with this one, because I made this one at home, I'm not sure how I did that. So, uh, this one we put away and have a look later. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I will open up and zoom in. My head is up close, in just two meters up to 30 volts, the meter is 10 amp, it's probably not going to do more than uh, 2 or 3 amps, I think. And uh, in the back, just one 30.55, so I think my guess was more or less right. I did use some proper working, but as you can see, I was too lazy to, to do something with the holes or couldn't find the screws. But uh, it worked, so already took out the screws. Oof, that is a very old transformer. Let me see if I can make a shot from it. Oh, <laughs> my God. Uh, yes, well, one thing that is positive that I find the schematic and it's all brown uh, well, if we have a closer look it, yeah it is kind of stuck i used uh, a lot of uh, tape let me zoom in yeah and uh, well, there is a huge rectifier in the bottom so that is proper and i see some proper cables here but then if i look at the caps they are with very tiny wires. Yeah, well, you need to learn no? in that time. And uh, I probably needed a resistor <laughs> and couldn't find the correct value, so I just put four. And the circuit board I made by cutting traces because it just was a full board. And then you just take out and so that was probably not that healthy to create this board because this was not with acid i really did with the with the drill yeah Now I like to see the schematic, maybe we can find something there. Okay. Yeah, oh, look. 
I found the old magazine because this is May 74. But that's not possible because then I was around two years old. So I found this then. And it's only this schematic. So it is not that complicated. Oh, here I'm here because I needed this resistor of 0.33. I just added a few from 0.15, so I added a little bit more even. 30.6, okay. And uh, it's a regulated power supply. Cena diet, 18 volts, yeah. 2BC177. And here we drive the 3055. And it got the current limit, I think, even. Okay, let's do some load testing if it still works. If it is kind of jumpy, but it could also be the caps, maybe. Ah, oh, no, it's just the pot being dirty. Let's see if I put some load. Put the current limit on full. Let's see, because constant current, I don't know if it was already available. Now we are on one amp. Can I? No, I cannot completely. Oh yeah, you can sort of limit the current. My God. How much can we take? Four and five. Five amps. <laughs> no, it's not really getting hot. It's more that my load is getting hot. It's not even getting hot in the back. <laughs> okay, yeah, the current limit kind of works, but I, it is <sighs> really on the on the limit. Yeah, now it gets hot. So this one was when I was in school, so hopefully I improved a lot <laughs> on my skills because I was not really impressed, especially not with the thin wires on the caps. And uh, so these are fixed voltages, 18, 12, 9 and 5. And this is uh, controllable, uh, not an amp meter. So I thought, I don't know why I didn't do that, but it's digital. So um, I, I, I don't really don't remember what I built. Mm. This one has proper caps because it takes a while. And in the back, it is not a 3055, but here I have an 8724 CK and I have an LM338K and I even had my branding look at this <laughs> proper fuse well it should be enough cooling you would say open up okay yeah and uh, the casing I built myself I did this in school we had this uh, metal folding machine and uh, well machine it was manual but you could easily fold the uh, metal as you can see this is two or three males so this is proper yeah you can see it it is myself but it is uh, done and again the schematic diagram <laughs> really i did that ah this one is a dummy that's the 87.24 Maybe I plan to do this with two 3055s and in the end I didn't Yeah, this is also newer because this is done with the printer So probably this is a modification I made later because this runs on the LM338 And what we had here 
the LM oh, 338k. So that, that is done later, I think, because also I see here uh, some modifications. The fixed voltages are done by the, of course, the 8705, 8709, 8712, and the 18. With the little cap, I think I put them in a chain. So I cannot use them all at the same time. Because all the current, if I use the 5 volt, and with one amp, it goes also to the nine volts to the to every one of them. So that is not necessarily very good design. But on the other hand, if you know that you can only do one amp, then it gets less hot because they only need to dissipate dissipate a few volts, and instead of a lot. Uh, this is my voltage meter. That looks really something I built myself. If you can see the circuit uh, board, if you can look at the traces, I did that in this also. Even says my call sign again. Got the echo one, Oscar of Emissera. Huge transformer. I see I put two in parallel. Maybe if I put some more light in my zoom. View from the top, huge, huge transformer in a ring. If I zoom in a little bit, you can see I put two secondary sides in parallel just to have more current. As you can see, I learn a bit more with the caps. <laughs> now I have proper wires, also the wires to the back are a lot thicker. These are uh, also this is the control wire. I use a 40 system, it's a modification probably. Let me see. This is a uh, pretty straightforward. Oh, uh, I needed 270 and then didn't have it, so I used 4680s. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty straightforward. I don't know, even know why I kept this. But I, I keep it because, in, and uh, you can see I put some proper, again, proper rectifier. I've got a fuse in the back. This all looks a lot better. Let me change this. And now we have a look in the front. Okay, this I would have done differently, but I probably didn't because there was no space. This you do, of course, with double wires. And this is done only with one. The LED, the connectors in the front, and all the little ones. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's funny to see. I just like to do a load test also. It doesn't have an end meter, so that was a, well, a huge mistake is a big word, but I probably don't know, didn't want to build this whole thing again, this whole board. Um, so I only did a voltage meter, but let's put some load. I think like this. And it's now 1.6 amp and it's not even dropping that much. And I need to check if it's not getting too hot. So we add an extra three amps. Four and a half amp. Yeah, it was kind of a Okay, no. so it can do uh, indeed uh, like six amps, but then it really gets hot. You can really feel the back. <laughs> but, uh, it still works. Cool. So that, that uh, was nice, at least for me. I built it uh, between 25 and 30 years ago. It's nice to see also, even in those uh, few years, that there was a lot of progress. And uh, the white one, the, the with the analog uh, gauges, uh, that one, 
I, I don't remember any repairs on that one. So that is really working as it was. And that was the oldest. The black one, I think I blew once already the, the LM338. And I think because I forgot to put uh, the diode to protect it. Because at that time I was also uh, working with batteries for my CB because some of my power supplies before that one were not that strong. And then I use the battery, but when you charge a battery or you do it the wrong way around, then you absolutely blow your power supply if you don't have those protections uh, diodes. So I, uh, I, I think I even did that three times. So, uh, <laughs> but uh, since then it has been stocked. So because I wasn't using it anymore. And I was actually surprised that it still uh, was still working because I thought that uh, I, I blew it again and then put it aside. But apparently in, in between I already uh, repaired it. So uh, that was nice. So, uh, well, I, I hope you liked it anyway. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.